Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Absolute Limits in Calculus. So in calculus, you're either integrating a function, differentiating a function, or sometimes taking the limit of a function as it approaches a particular value in x. If we consider a function that has an absolute value in it, say f of x is equal to the absolute value of 9 minus 3x, divided by 3 minus x, and we want to take the limit of this function as x approaches 3, then we have to consider the definition of the absolute value function. So if we have absolute value of x, this function is equal to positive x if x is greater than or equal to 0, or negative x if x is less than 0. So if we want to take the limit of this function, we have the limit as x approaches 3. Here I'm going to factor out a 3 from the numerator. So I have 3 times the absolute value of 3 minus x divided 3 minus x. I can't divide these two because as I approach 3, I'm going to have either a positive or a negative in the numerator. So I have to examine the value of this function as I approach either from the positive side or from the negative side of 3. If I just were to naively plug in 3 into this function, then I would get 3 times 3 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 3. And I would end up with 0 over 0. And this isn't defined, which is why we're taking the limit. So if I take the limit of x as I'm approaching 3 from the negative side, from the side of numbers less than 3, then I see that I'm going to have a positive number inside the numerator, inside the absolute value. Therefore, the limit of my function as I approach 3 from the left-hand side becomes 3 times positive 3 minus x divided by 3 minus x. And this is simply equal to positive 3. If I approach 3 from the positive side, though, I'll notice that 3 minus a number larger than 3 is going to be a negative number. So I have the limit of my function as x approaches 3 from the right-hand side is going to be equal to 3 times negative 3 minus x divided by 3 minus x. And this cancels out, so I'm left with negative 3. But we see that negative 3 does not equal positive 3. Therefore, the limit of this function as x approaches 3 does not exist, or D and E for short. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Absolute Limits in Calculus.